A woman should begin screening for cervical cancer at the age of 21 unless she has some significant uh, risk factors such as HIV or immunodeficiency. Uh, but uh, in general, screening should begin at the age of 21. Currently, screening for cervical cancer is done by performing a pap smear uh, where the pathologist will look at the cytology or how the cells look under the microscope. And now we're also using a modality for HPV detection to screen for cervical cancer as well. Between the ages of 21 and 29, the cervical screening test, the pap smear, should be performed every one to two years, depending on her risk factors and after a thorough discussion with her doctor. After the age of 30, so beginning at 30, if a woman's had three pap smears, which are normal, and she has a negative HPV test, then she can reduce the frequency of her screening to every three years. HPV is human papillomavirus. It's one of approximately 150 different types of viruses that have been linked to many different kinds of cancers. 70% of cervical cancers have been linked to two specific kinds of HPV, and one type of HPV has been associated with 85% of anal cancers. HPV is also a cause for head and neck cancer. The recommendation for the HPV vaccine is for girls between the ages of 9 and 26, optimally done before they ever begin sexual activity, and for boys between the ages of 11 and 26, again, before they begin sexual activity. So women are now receiving the vaccine for the human papillomavirus. Having had this vaccine reduces your risk for catching certain kinds of HPV viruses, but does not change the screening recommendations for a cervical screening with pap smear. Women who test positive for HPV, only about 1-2% to of them will ever develop cervical cancer. Many of these women will be able to clear the infection on their own, and so repeat screening for HPV the following year is very likely to be negative. 